Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with something new and interesting. We're going to start a career in IL-2 Sturmovik. Uh, I have the expansion battle of base plate, or Boden Plata, and that is a, uh, a German campaign late in the war in 1944 to 1945, right in that area. Right before the Battle of Market Garden, during Market Garden, the Battle of the Bulge, the crossing the Rhine, that time frame. Uh, I'm going to role play my character as an American who has gone over to the Royal Canadian Air Force, joined up with the Royal Canadian Air Force, and we're going to be flying Spitfires in Squadron 443. So let's go ahead and pull up my career. And there it is, see? Uh, 443 Royal Canadian Air Force. Le Coulotte is the uh, airfield. And <clears throat> I'm going to just have to tell you that I'm really not any good. <laughs> this game, man, I'm probably going to die. Let me just say. Ignore this. Uh, moving on. I just arrived. I am a flight sergeant yep flight sergeant and it is september 22nd 1944 we're going to go to the next day because i just got there it's it recommends that i look over the unit tags here this tells me a lot about our squadron uh it was formed in february of 1944 from personnel of the 127th okay Uh, as part of the 144 Royal Canadian Air Force Wing of the 2nd Tactical Air Force, the number 443 Squadron was engaged in escort, fighter sweep, and fighter bomber missions in the months leading up to June, the invasion of Normandy. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool, 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 cool. We can always come back later and take a look at this if you want. Uh, post in the comments. Or you can just read it right here for yourself. Let me just scroll through there and you can read it yourself. Looks like Stanley Barker is the um, commander. Stephen Griffith is the deputy commander. And then we've got some, looks like some, some leaders. We've got Alfred Hall, Jeffrey Cooper, Roy Chapman. And then some officers. And then we have some flight sergeants. Colin, Mr. Everything, and Victor. All right, so that says, like, how good this squadron is. I'm down here with a bunch of zeros. Zeros! I got zero hours flight time. Ah, uh, okay. Planning room. Settle into the barracks, familiarize yourself. Clicks next day when you're ready. Okay, that's us there. We have a bunch of Royal Canadian Air Force uh squadrons here yep they're all spitfires too okay and world news yay airborne hits wait airborne army hits germans really oh 17 september it's 22nd september yeah so market garden should be going on right now Okay, next day. All right, looks like we got heavy weather, clouds, super cold, barometer. Next. I got a pilot badge just for showing up. What am I supposed to be looking at? There we go, the planning room. Okay, it looks like I'm not flying out in the morning. I am flying out in an attack enemy vehicle convoy. Okay. And we're all in Spitfires. Of course, this whole airfield is Spitfires. Going up with Colin and Walter and David and Bernard and all them guys. Yeah, okay. Wow, we're flying all the way over there. Okay, maybe... Is 
these are two choices do I get to choose which one I want to do or what is this telling me enemy vehicle column and then what's this enemy troops concentration okay I'm gonna select this one and see if that's our mission an enemy transport column was recently seen near point three marked on your map. Okay, just over the border. So I'm going to have to remember that when we're over here fighting, if we are over here fighting, I need to go southwest to get back over my... to get back over. Okay, let's set up this Spitfire. Okay, they're going to give us a couple of bombs and a mirror. Tons of fuel. <clears throat> Remember, I'm an American, so I think I'm going to find me an American. I kind of like that one. Let's take a look. Kind of kind of brown. Kind of gray. Gray green. Kind of brown camouflage with the number. Oh, with the eight ball right there. We got to do it. Yep, yeah, we're gonna do that. Acorn taking off. Out. See, I got the American star because I'm an American in a in a Canadian Air Force. Oh, they're probably waiting for me. Come on, stay on the concrete. Now lift it. David's behind me. Look in my rear view mirror. Okay, it's all cool. Let's go ahead and hit autopilot and join formation with these guys. All right, and what we'll do is I will fly on to my next waypoint or if we get it jumped or if we jump somebody then I'll be right back. All right, guys, now we are getting really close to the objective. I'm still in autopilot, but here I can kind of show you. We're right there, and there is our action point. I'm starting to drift over to the left. I guess I'm getting behind. We're going in line. I don't know what's going on here. One more guy behind, behind us. I'm gonna turn autopilot off. I'm gonna look around.
I haven't dropped my bombs. <laughs> I didn't see any targets. Did you see any targets? I didn't see any targets. I have a pretty good idea that they were right in the road over there, but... What are we attacking? I don't know. I'll just Look at that, they're all going down that road. Taking a slow turn. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna line up on that road and I'm gonna drop some bombs. They're all in those trees. Did I get anybody? I destroyed a Ford and an Opal. Nice. Who are these guys? Are they mine? They look like Spitfires. Okay, where'd they go? I guess we're strafing. That's like too zoomed in, I can't even see what I'm doing. I think he just crashed. My, I kept my throttle down. Don't need it to be super high. See any vehicles?
or am I too far forward? Yeah, it might have been too far forward. There's some trucks. Man, Acorn 5 is like killing things. Unless I'm Acorn 5. And they're just calling me and saying, hey, hey, we can return to base. I want to kill some stuff. I killed a truck and uh, two trucks. Truck's on fire. It's all right. Let me join with my guys. We'll go on home. I killed an opal blitz. It just took a second to, to, to die, I guess. Maybe it caught fire, then destroyed. What is that? That looks like an airfield. An old World War I style airfield.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is link up with the rest of my squadron and we will, or my flight, I guess, and then we'll fly back to home plate. All right, so we are breaking off and landing individually. Okay. Oh, I do have my lights on. Little green light, little red light. Okay, it must have did it for me automatically. See a windsock. I'm in a down leg. There's another airfield right there. That's my airspeed. Is that my airspeed? Yeah. Uh, way too fast. Is that enough lead time to get a water break? This is Acorn Leader landed over Acorn Leader Roger. Negative? No, okay. I don't want to drop gear at this speed. I'm going to pull out of it. Oh, 
That's the way we're coming in. far day. This is flaps, right? It says landing at 105. I don't see any flaps, but that might be under the wing. Let me check. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here at Acorn 5. I'm supposed to be going at 105. I'm at 120. It's alright. Throttle's low enough. Come on, nose it up. There we go, there we go. Not too much. Throttle back, all the way back. Is that a good landing or what? Yeah, but I broke the wing. <laughs> Water break. This is Acorn 2. Requesting landing clearance. Over. Acorn 2. Roger. Get off the airstrip so nobody, like, runs into me. Practice my taxiing. Why am I spinning? I've given up. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead.
Okay, it looks like mission accomplished. I was able to take off. I was able to hit the primary target and land. Even though I rubbed wings on the ground. I was able to get three trucks. Okay, so not too bad. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I lived. That's the most important thing. All right, in the first mission, because I didn't pay attention to this earlier, uh, three of our Spitfires were damaged. Ronald Morgan is wounded, but his Spitfire is okay. That's unusual. That's weird. Uh, reports. I got my pilot's badge. Ronald Morgan was wounded right there. Ronald Morgan was awarded the wound stripe. Okay, but Colin and David were both killed. Where's that at? Colin and David both killed right here. I think I saw one of them just crash straight into the ground. Uh, Colin was able to get two of the vehicles. I got three of the vehicles. But Roy, as expected, he got four vehicles. Very nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we got eleven vehicles out of the deal. <clears throat> Wait, Roy flew twice, and he got four vehicles there. Boy, Roy, he's like hogging up all the kills. He's got a ton of vehicles under his name. So let's look at the... Is that unit headquarters? Where you see all the people and all their kills and stuff. Roy Chapman. 16 vehicles. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got three Spitfires under repair and nine Spitfires ready for action. Okay, this looks a lot like Rise of Flight. I mean, this is set up the same way. I think it's, I think both companies are one now. Okay, so let's just, I will go to the next day uh, in the next video. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this new series that I'm doing. The uh, number 443 squadron, the Hornets, Royal Canadian Air Force in IL-2, and uh, Bodenplatte. All right, or base plate. I kind of like their little symbol, too. It's got like a yellow jacket hornet right there. That's pretty cool. Right there. All right, catch you next time.